Hello and welcome. This is Nikhil Raj, course director for Tutomash.com. In this session, I'll be teaching you updating the project in Primavera P6. Updating project means until now we have learned how to create a project, activities, relationships, duration, resources, assigning resources, creating baselines. So we have learned up to this means up to creating baselines. Once you create the baseline, when you create the baseline, once you got the permission from the management, then only you will create the baseline. After creating it, we have to start executing the project. Once you start executing the project based on your baseline, then you have to update your project every week, sometimes every month, sometimes every day. So this is the frequency of updation. So I work in a construction company so in our project we update the project every week. But I have seen some oil and gas industries they update the project every day. But in some companies they do in monthly as well. So that is the frequency of update. When you update a project let's say for example we will take it as weekly updation. When you update your project in every week you have to take care of three things that is status, rescheduling and rebaseline. Status means you have to select the activity and go to the status tab. Then you have to enter the start of that activity, finish of the activity if the activity has finished and the percentage of complete. So that is what status means. And the next step is rescheduling. In the status you have entered the percentage of complete of every single activity. So there will be some activity which is not completed according to the time. So such uncompleted work you have to reschedule to the very next day. So to do that you have to do rescheduling. What is the first step in rescheduling? You have to enter the data date. Data date means if you are entering the actuals on 15th November, the data date becomes 15th November. And after entering the data date, you can reschedule the project. You can simply press schedule button so it will automatically reschedule all the uncompleted works to the next day of data date. So that is rescheduling and after doing the rescheduling you have to re-baseline it. Sometimes when you do rescheduling you can see some delay in the project. So this delay definitely management will ask you what is the reason of this delay. So you have to convince the reason of that delay and if the management permits or if the management is convinced and they say okay this change is agreed then you can re-baseline it. This process will happen every week. Status, rescheduling, re-baseline. This process will keep continuing on every time you update the project. Now let's see how this works in software. Here is a project. Sheetal Serenity Apartment project that consists of five flows are there so this project you can see I have done everything activities are there duration relationships as given uh, resources are assigned the cost has already found everything has been done now you can see in the Gantt chart the activities are there you can set the you can set the time scale time scale here is showing is showing the month and the week okay so it's everything is set and the project is starting on 1st November. Now I'll show you how to update the project. So let's say the work has already been started. So my job is what? I'll go to site and see what is the progress. Physically I will take the progress. Let's see setting up. So when I went to the site I found that setting out has already scattered. So what I do? I'll go to the status bar here. This is status and you can just click on started because the work has already started and I can ask my supervisors when this activity actually started because according to the plan it has to start on 1st November and let's say that my supervisor told me that due to some weather problem they couldn't start the activity on 1st November they started on 2nd November so you have to click this button and you have to select the date, actual start of the activity setting out. Let's say supervisor is telling it started on day 3, 
then you have to click three select so the activity has started on third number now you can physically verify how much percentage of the work has done so the percentage of complete that I found from the side is 25 percentage so I just entered 25 that's it and next I'll go to the mass excavation so mass excavation I found the activity has already start on the right time that is 16th number and the duration of percentage is somewhat like 50 50 percentage of mass excavation has already been done now what I do after doing all these steps I'm going to schedule so I'm just reminding you the steps which I have done right now is called as status here you can see I have gone to the status tab I have entered the start finish and percentage of the activities so status has already done next is rescheduling what are the steps you have to enter the data date and rescheduling so in the program I'll go to schedule button this is schedule button you can click that and the data date let's say I'm updating it on 30th November okay so I'm updating the project on 30th November so I'll just give the date 30 after that I'll click schedule so you can see in the GAN chart the activity setting out is supposed to start on 1st November but due to some problem I started on 3rd November that's why there is a change in the baseline you can see baseline is not changing but your plan has changed but the case of mass excavation it started on the right time and it completed its 50 percent age after doing this step you can add two columns right click here you can go to columns you can add duration percentage complete here is duration percentage complete you can add this and uh, you can add one more column to understand the duration variance go to durations you have to add variance in baseline project finish date okay add these two columns and press ok now the program is telling that the total project completion until now means from 1st November to 30th November it is 10.81 percentage and it is showing minus 11.25 days that means we are ahead of the project we are ahead of 11.25 days so this is very good information given by the program and the last step is to create a baseline and save it so what you do you have to go to project you have to go to maintain baseline and you can simply press add so program will ask save a copy of current project as a new baseline say yes you can see a new baseline is created that is B2 what I do I'll just uh, schedule two towers B, B2 I'll give the date. What is today's date? Today's date is 30th November 2015. So every time you save a baseline, you have to enter the date. This is for your information. Okay? And you can press close. So that's it. Your job is done. For some more information regarding the start and finish of the project you can simply go to columns add two columns that is baseline project start where you can find it here baseline project start and baseline project finish you can put this under start and finish okay and press ok so after adding this column BL project start and baseline project finish you can just compare it with the start and finish because this start and finish represent the plan that plan can be changed based on your updation and this baseline project start and finish will never change okay so this plan start will change based on your actuals you can see setting out 
the actual start is 3rd November that's why it has already changed to 3rd November and it is finishing on 11th December but baseline says it has to start on 1st November and it has to finish on 15th November that is why this activity is on ahead by 25 days look at Mars excavation it is supposed to finish by 12th Jan but you will be finishing it on 19th Jan based on the present condition so here it is showing a positive 7 days of delay so this information is very good in the software you can make use of it so that's about this session and hope you really understood it thanks for watching